Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do the Wednesday, May 17th, 2023 Crosswords, and go for that 1174-day streak. If you stick around to the end, we'll also do the plus word. May as well do the digits today also, didn't do them last night. Um, and there are timestamps in, uh, in the description below. Anyway, here's your spoiler alert for the Wednesday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. Alright, let's do it. It's called Burr. This is bread, uh, retro, rents, uh, gap, and K, letter K. Language from which we get academy and democracy. Got Etna, Dos Equis, so sort of a Greek, Italian-ish, Spanish vibe there. And the letter K is at the start of the, the word kick. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Parker Higgins today. Here is your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription, and I'm seeing shaded squares. I'm also seeing shaded squares that end in black squares. Maybe this one does too. So maybe they span or something. Anyway, so I wanted to find out. Let's see what Parker Higgins has in store for us. Let's get into it. Comes on a mountain run. That's probably skis. This is Sim. Hawaiian wood. Ooh. Tattoos, ink, and rest of the day. Not sure. Water, body of water between Sicily and Greece. The Ionian Sea. Brings to a tie. Makes even or something. Siesta. Grilled ham and cheese sandwich. After John or Sean Aston, maybe. Claude and base hit result, maybe. Host's request. Stinger and actress Sandra Bullock regarding an Inits in Congress. It's AOC and AS2. This is Operandi, modus operandi, unfounded rumor. This is spam, matriarchal nickname. Probably it's Mama or something. Amazon swimmers are piranhas. No? <laughs> They're not. <laughs> Group, this is the army, sunshine. This is rays, I guess. Canard. Diorama. Plant as an idea. Oh, Incept. Interesting. Was idol as Sat. This is Sal. Performs a gymnastics move requiring flexibility. This is does the splits, maybe? States of upheavals. Maybe it's unrests. This is Gus Grissom, the astronaut, to be certain. Surely. This is Tron. Sine wave. In agony. Pained. This is a bed. I don't know this. Okay. It's RSVP here. These are orbs. One on. I think that's right. This is the B. So we have 710 split, like in bowling. It includes on a thread. CCs. This is Ser. This is Rude and Cretan. This is the Ebro River. Banana split, anacondas, they swim. A row or a row. This could be or. Eat alpha fitter. Savory things about in buildings. Edifices. This is sir. Dis. Uh. Is it dis? Um. I don't really like this. I don't know. Horsers target and sounds of recognitions. Ahas. All Souls Day. Stand that a speaker might take podium. This is manuscripts. Tickets. Auditor. That all looks good. San Bernardino suburb whose name means beautiful hill. Tic tac finish. Toe. This is yens for. These are pumas. I think this is pained. Perform spectacularly. Old English for better or worse. Oh, this is lickety split. Etymology. Yes, queen. A number one. Maybe it's tops. This is GDP or GNP. Uh, perform spectacularly. Kill it. Double fantasy singer. Ono. Oh, uh, la. Go with sailing is Carol. This is CK1. 
Calvin Klein, probably. I guess it's probably, I guess it's Otsigo, I'm not sure. This is Hurl, a him, Loma Linda. Yeah, it was just Otsigo, which I didn't, just looked not correct to me. We've got a bunch of splits that are literally split. So I was right about my um, shaded squares going over the gaps here. I vaguely predicted it at the beginning. Got a 7-10 split like in bowling, a banana split like in ice cream, a stock split like on the stock market, and lickety split. Literally split apart. Yeah. I see the crossword theme there. Uh, let's see the uh, the themers. Right, so this, this gives us technically nine themers. Makes even and tenor. High, low voice. I love Cuban sandwiches. Um, <laughs> there are certain things that, like, if I ever see it on the menu, I always order it. Uh, at least, you know, the first time I go somewhere. And if I see a Cuban sandwich on a menu, I will literally always order it. And Anacondas can swim, that's terrifying. Aspires 2 is like a little bit not that great, but it's hard to end in STO, I guess. It's hard to start in CK. CK1. Again, I think that's Calvin Klein, right? But it's quite a obscure thing, I think. Of course, it's triple clued, right? It's clued with this across and with the downs and with the split, so it's kind of okay. So like an oil slick and better and worse both come from Old English. It's a clever clue on etymology there. Yeah. I like this puzzle. It's, it's got some creativity to it, right? We're splitting splits. That's the basic idea. <laughs> Let's take a look at the rest of this thing. Um, see what we can learn. Or see if there's anything that needs to be explained. And I can really go for a Cuban. It's also right above this clue of referencing Havana. So there's a little wink wink nudge nudge. Eid is the end of Ramadan, right? Which must have been re fairly recently, yeah. Uh, less than a month ago. Marks the end of Ramadan, yeah. So happy Eid, <laughs> a month ago. <laughs> yeah, Kaskrism of Mercury. Of Mercury? When did he fly? Did he die in Apollo 1? Is that true? Member of the... He was a Project Mercury astronaut. And he died in Apollo 1. Yeah. I, th I think the names of the astronauts are crossworthy. Basically all of them. Um, and this is only being included as the first name anyway. So maybe he's the most famous Gus one can think of. Suet, which is fat, right? You bird feed is like seeds and suet. I have never fed birds like this before, but yeah, bird suet. Bird seed cakes. There you go. I do think birds are beautiful, but <laughs> never fed any. Loma Linda. I've heard of Loma Linda. Didn't know that it meant, I guess Linda means pretty or beautiful. There's lots of Lomas, like Point Loma or whatever. This is manuscripts in Ed Speak. Call which out to Gracia, my surfing addicted friend. One on just means that someone's on base. Well, one person is on base. Canard also just means duck in French. Incept. Interesting. That seems a little niche. I mean, Inception is was quite a commercially successful movie, quite famous, but if you haven't seen it, this feels a bit a bit niche, I think. It is Wednesday though. Things can be a little bit harder on Wednesday. Ebro is the only river I remember on the Iberian Peninsula. Just didn't know Lake 
Oswego. You know, it looks like it wants to be Oswego. But there you go. So I wasn't sure about that, but it's the only thing that sort of made sense there. Nice clue on podium. Got Yoko Ono. Yeah, nice. Uh, I like it. I like the theme. I like the theme. And it'll be, I think, normal, normalish time for a Wednesday. Last week was pretty fast. This week, I think, is shaping up to be pretty normal. Anyway, let's uh, let's do the plus word, shall we? Here's your spoiler alert for the plus word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. The plus word is free to play. It's like British mini crosser meets Wordle. Blank duck. That's Daffy Duck, right? Blank rally that I don't know. Slack jawed agape. Strength of character. Not solid. This is fluid. Shouts are yells. Nimble is agile. This is cobble. This is April. And this is reeds, fiber spelled in the British way. And this is abyss, I think. Yeah. Nice. Just sub 30 there. The Dakar Rally. I guess that must be in Senegal, right? It's an annual rally. The Paris Dakar Rally. I think I've heard of it, but don't know much about it. It's a rally raid. That was, most events were staged from Paris to Dakar. Events from 2009 to 2019 were held in South America. Since 2020, the rally has been held in Saudi Arabia. I see, so it's a bit of a misnomer these days. <laughs> so we've got two capitals. We've got five were spelled the British way. And the word abyss, which I always think has an interesting spelling. Uh, you know what? I didn't do the, the digits last night. Why don't we run through the digits kind of quick? Should I try to do this uh, twist on digits? If you, don't, you haven't watched those digits videos, I don't blame you. I've been putting up too many videos. Uh, you gotta try to make the target number using these numbers and these operations. And my little twist is, if I can, I try to use all of the uh, the numbers present because you don't need to. So like here, you can do twenty-five times three plus two. Maybe I can make two. Oh, I can make two in a more wasteful way. So this will do it. There's seventy-seven. Nice. 123. That's at least 125 minus 2. Can I get 2 from these though? Uh, not that I can see. At least not immediately. This is 175. Can I get 52 from these? I get 53. Pretty good. Uh, oh, I can. 45, 9 times 5, plus 7, 10 minus 3. I think that works. Is that what I said? I need to subtract this. I need to subtract this. There you go. And that was nice. 214. Now we're in the midst. Uh, let's see. It's 2 times 107. I don't think that helps me. What is 25? That's 175. So I need to get 39. You get 37 if you just add these. I was right about this being 175, right? Yeah, so 39. Uh, if I get... 33? I can. Five, you know I have 5 times 11 plus 6. This is going swimmingly, I think. Unless I've made a math mistake here. No. Uh, looking pretty good. 393, huh? <laughs> Let's see. So if I get to 400, I get to 400, or close to. I don't know. 21 times 19? 
11 plus 8 is 19, 6 plus 15 is 21. That's 20 plus, that's 399. Oh, and I get to 6. Wow, this is really... This is really falling quickly today. Let's see if 455 puts up a fight. Let's see, what's 25 times 19, right? That'll get me to 475. Can I get to 20 using these? That's the question. Can I get to 7 using these? I can. I can. Incredible. Alright, so I actually accomplished my goal first time through there. Uh, and it the stars have glitched on me. <laughs> it's giving me no stars, but I did solve all the puzzles. You, you saw it here. Alright, nice. Uh, last thing we do before we go is we take a look at the mini leaderboard for tomorrow's mini. So those of you who have done the puzzle nice and early, which on my uh, primary leaderboard is nobody yet. Hope you're all enjoying your Tuesday evening. And on my secret leaderboard, we've got Kimball and Ty. Shout out to both of you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for the best day of the week for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.